Hello, I'm Mike and welcome to Camden Garden Centre. I'm going to give you some help with some gardening advice. What you need for this is the hose plants and here we have a Kentia palm. You need a potting compost and here we have John Innes potting compost number two. This is a recipe. You need a new container. But, but really this plant will need a container about two to four inches wider diameter plant pot than the previous one. And this is a plastic container which has got lots of drainage holes in the base of it. Or alternatively, you could use a clay container. And this is a clay container, but clay only has one drainage hole in the bottom of it. So if you use a clay container, it's important that you crock it. And by crocking it, what I mean is you put a piece of broken pot over the drainage hole not to completely block it, so you need to put a couple over like that, and that helps with drainage. I'm now going to put some compost into the um, new plant pot. You won't know exactly how much compost to put in, uh, you've got to do this by trial and error. And I'm now going to take the old container off the palm. And in this case, if I just give it some gentle taps around the rim, that will loosen the root ball. And you can see here it's got quite substantial roots as this plant. Don't disturb the root ball, leave that intact. I'm now going to put that in the new container. And actually that's the height at which you want the plant to stand. Don't bring the compost up to the top. Put it on level with this rim inside the container. Place the plant centrally. Okay. And now to assist this plant, before I actually repot it, I'm going to put in a fungus. And this is the fungus, it's called Roots Grow and it's a completely natural fungus which attaches itself to the base of the roots of the plant. So the fungus goes at the bottom of the, of the compost. So I'm going to sprinkle that in the bottom. And what will happen is once the plant's roots have, have made contact with that fungus then the fungus will come to life and it will start to help the plant to absorb water and nutrients from the soil. It makes a tremendous difference to the uh, vigour and health of the plant by adding this stuff. And now I'm backfilling with the potting compost using my fingers to firm it in to make sure there are no air gaps in there and ensuring that the plant's standing upright during the process of repotting. Just a little bit more and the job's nearly done. There we go. And the next thing I need to do is water that copiously. This, this particular plant, this large plant in a large pot, will probably need about uh, five to ten litres of water. That's a, a, a gallon to two gallons of water in that initial watering and by leaving a nice generous gap at the top it means I can get the water in there and then allow the surplus water to drain away before standing the plant pot on a saucer and that's easy that's how you repot a plant. <laughs> 